continuing our conversation with NFL Hall of Famer Terrell Owens, daytime exclusive on T.O. fighting ageism as he desires to go back into the NFL, suit up and play at age 49. That's you practicing, T.O. How often do you practice? How often do you work out? Um, um, probably within the last uh, couple of months or so, or so and really pretty much since the season has started, I try to get on the field like either maybe once or twice a week. Um, so just to kind of stay active, keep my body moving and uh, just to, you know, keep the ball in my hand. Because again, I've seen this happen um, just as uh, the Rams brought in the safety Eric Weddle uh, last year to help them win a Super Bowl. He hadn't played in like a couple of years. Um, but the thing is, the only difference is he's he he is who he is and I am who I am. So I know the opportunities, obviously, if it presents itself, uh, I'll be ready. Uh, but as I said earlier, uh, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, but I'm on the field, obviously, not, not only just to help myself, but I'm mentoring other guys. I'm helping other receivers. I'm helping okay. defensive backs. I'm mentoring all those guys that are coming out and working out with me. I, I hope I'm wording this clearly and directly. You know, do you believe you are genetically um, blessed? In, uh, not in, please, people. Oh, my God. Our audience here are mostly women here. Ay, ay, ay. Meaning, you know, listen, some, Michael Jordan was born to be Michael Jordan, right? You athletically um, are made for the sport, for the wide receiver, which is why you're considered one of the best. But how much, at 27, how fast were you versus where you are now, even with the genetic gifts that you have and the hard work you put into it? Mm, that's a good question. Um, that's a good question. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I wasn't always known for my speed, but I've gotten faster once I got into the league in 96, yeah. and I progressively kind of just did workouts that to, to enhance, you know, some of my physical attributes. And so I, I'm, I'm pretty much fast, you know, to, you know, faster than some at, at this age, but um, I'm, I'm faster than most. Faster than most. Now, <laughs> yeah. Well, I asked that because my, my team said, my team said, well, you know, T.O. is training with 20-year-olds. And I said, but he's training with 20-year-olds, but is he training with 20-year-old NFL players? Because there's a difference, right? So T.O. 49 versus T.O. Right. 29. Who wins? Oh, man, I think uh, both is it's a challenge. But, I mean, I'll take my bets on either one. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I, I can play the game. I think, yeah, I think I the that. thing for me is, like, I have the IQ to play the game. And when I've uh, talked to my agent about obviously playing, yeah. uh, to, to, to be in, to be brought in, obviously I know where I would be advantageous, okay. where I'd be a viable asset. And that's on third down situations and in the red zone. Um, again, I know so I'm gonna my follow abilities. The leads I know here. that I could come in and, and help a team play. Okay. So the leads, because I do a crime show in addition to this show, the leads are telling me. You want to be signed with a team right now who has a chance to win the Super Bowl. So who do you want to sign you? Because you've said Super Bowl three times. You've said come in at this time. So it's clear right. to me, you don't just want to right. play. You want a ring. And you want to play for right. a specific team. Who do you want to play for? Well, I don't have anyone in, in, in particular. But I a think Super Bowl contender. At, um, <laughs> and if, Right, exactly. And that's any team that's in the playoffs. Yeah. Because once you get into the playoffs, it's pretty much any any team's, you okay. know, opportunity uh, to, to win a championship. Um, you look at what the Cincinnati Bengals did last year. Nobody thought that they were going to be yeah, in the Super yeah, Bowl, but they right. started hitting their stride and playing very well uh, toward the end of the season. Um, so you think about a lot of the, uh, the teams that are top in their divisions, um, that's, that, like, again, that would be an, uh, an opportunity and a, a good team for me to, to, to apply my services Let with. me ask you, though, about the money part of this. I know that over your career you made somewhere around $80 million. That's what the, the reports out there say. Um, but in an interview in 2017, you said, I got sucked into wanting to be like everybody else, the guys with the Mercedes and all the flashy cars and the jewelry. Mm -hmm. I think those are some of the most idiotic purchases I think players can do, especially when they don't have that money in the bank account to really pay for that stuff. As I said, 15 seasons, reportedly, right. you made $80 million. Financially, is there an incentive to play? No, not at all. Uh, I think when you look at somewhat of my, my, my statue, if, you, if I were to go in and play right now, uh, the required uh, 
vet minimum um, is like 1.1. And so even with my, my, my agent, Gregory, I mean, he even approached me he was like, oh, well, we're going to go, we'll do this or we'll do that um, if you were to get signed. And some of those were incentive uh, based. And I told him plainly, I said, look, it's not about the money. Um, at the end of the day, I'll take the vet minimum. And then my, my main focus is to go in and help a team win. So um, the idea that this was about money, and I think the article that was put out a few days ago that we couldn't come to any agreement because of that, that wasn't what that was uh, about. I think, I think the article kind of skewed really kind of the process in which uh, if I were to get signed, how that, go, how that goes. Okay, and so, so you, for me, you made 80... it's not about that. It was about more about playing. So you made $80 million. You have much of that eighty million. Like I don't know how it I'm works because I'm like I always fine. like I'm you're fine. okay financially, so you can turn down one point yeah, one million. You can turn it down just to be there. Well, yeah, it, it, this, that's a requirement in itself. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's vet minimum. Yeah. Um, Right, so that's, again, ideally, if I were to play, then that's what they would have to pay me. So the compensation is. That's on the table. So other than that, there wouldn't be any incentive for me to go in and be like, oh, I want X amount to play right. if I were to play. But that was never part of the discussion. I think the article uh, obviously has been skewed and, and not reported accurately. I love the way you shrugged off the vet minimum. 1.1? .1? I'm good. I'm good. I want to play. I want, I want the right. ring.